Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. As always, showing you everything that I eat in a day. It is now uh, about 12 o'clock, so it means it's time to eat. I don't start eating until 12 to try and help keep my calories down. I enjoy eating at night, so something's gotta go. I'm also in the middle of air drying my hair. That's why I look so flat. But right now we're gonna have some lunch. This is actually something I ate in a What I Eat in a Day a little while back. It's inspired by a hell of fresh meal I had probably like a year ago, but I started eating it again because I really like it. Oh, and I just realized I didn't cook the mushrooms. Okay, I've got to do that, but I'll show you exactly how I made it. And basically the way that I eat is just by tracking my calories to stay in a calorie deficit. I don't cut out any particular food groups and I try to eat um, as healthy as possible, but it's all about balance for me. And uh, right now my current goal is to stop having like a dessert after lunch. It's kind of like, I'll become a habit of mine to have something sweet right after lunch so if anything I'll have fruit but in general I try to wait a little bit longer now after lunch um, and as I've always said it's about making small manageable changes so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what I'm having for lunch so I've showed this before in a video but I'll show you the kind of basis of it again I made this what I call a tomato jam and this is only tomatoes, onions, and at the end I put a little balsamic vinegar and salt and pepper. I think when I made it in the other video I might have added something to sweeten it a little bit. Honey or maple syrup, but I left that out because I felt like you couldn't really taste it. So this is more or less calorie free, but adds lots of flavor. I have it on these two, this little ciabatta bun. You could obviously do something whole wheat or something if you felt like it. I do not. Then I just cooked... So this could be vegetarian. I'm having prosciutto on the side today, just because we went to Costco and bought some. But I'm putting sliced and kind of grilled, I guess, portobello mushrooms. I don't cook anything in oil, more or less. A little bit of spray oil, because it just adds um, unnecessary calories, in my opinion, for most stuff. Especially vegetables and things like this, when I'm gonna be putting cheese on it and everything, you can't really even taste it if it's cooked in oil. And that's kind of one of those things you put a splash of oil in the pan you don't realize that the calories add up so it's just something to be mindful of if you do use it uh, so I'm putting on some mushrooms and then I'm gonna add this bocconcini it is light I have two bowls of that normally I would put fresh basil on at the end of this but I had this yesterday for lunch too and ate the rest of the basil so it's gonna be basil free today it's kind of like a margarita pizza style with the basil and the tomato and the bocconcini so yeah now i'm going to put this just to broil in the oven for about two minutes and then when it comes out i'll put a little bit of this balsamic glaze on it so here they are out of the oven once the cheese starts to get a little brown on the top uh, that's when it's really good i also put i forgot oh it's melting there <laughs> some chili flakes in the tomato jam as well a little bit of salt I like lots of pepper too the basil is really good put on the basil after the fact so that it doesn't like get weird and wilty and then a little bit of this glaze and normally I would measure the glaze but I've been eating this a bunch I kind of know how much to put on if you don't have glaze you can make some or you can just use more of the balsamic vinegar but um, here is my lunch so it is time for a snack a little bit after lunch I had half of a really really big orange and then I also had some of this lemonade it is from Sunkist it's the Sunripe Slim 10 calories per serving lemon drop lemonade I really don't like a lot of like um, stevia and artificial sweeteners in my drinks but I feel like drinks are getting better because this is actually very very good and I am a huge lemonade fan and a lot of the time I'll just put lemon in my water but this is definitely delightful and I had a bit of a flu or something last week it's still kind of lingering and my appetite is definitely lower and I'm just not feeling great today anyways so I also ate a lot of food over the weekend so that could absolutely be it I'm still stuffed from the weekend so having a fruit salad I've got strawberries kiwis and blueberries in here I've mentioned this before but I find when you cut up fruit and put it in a bowl as well as having multiple fruits it might just be the fact that there's a bunch of different colors or something like that it is just more appealing to me it takes a little bit longer to eat it's a little bit more satisfying so I'm gonna have this as my snack today and I've definitely been trying to eat less kind of like chip substitutes and things like that during the day it doesn't always happen but today happens to be one of those days where 
I'm quite busy and also not feeling great, so I've eaten a little bit less than I had intended. So yeah, right now fruit just sounds really, really good and some water is gonna be my snack. Appetite is starting to come back here a little bit, so time for one of those snacks I said I'm trying to avoid. It's not that I'm trying to avoid, I'm just like, I really, every single day without fail, eat some kind of like chip substitute or ice cream and stuff. So I'm just trying to be mindful of it. Uh, and yeah, but anyways, this is freaking delicious. I mentioned the nacho cheese version before, it's bad monkey, it's Canadian, vegan, zero trans fats, peanut free, source of fiber, no dairy. But this is the ketchup flavor. I took a bit of a risk and bought this at Marshall's. You can also get it at Winners. You can also get it at Sobeys. And oh my God, if you like ketchup chips, like I don't think that ketchup chips are a thing in the United States, but tastes exactly like ketchup chips. And I have to put it in a really big bowl because all my small bowls are dirty. This is the exact opposite of what I generally advise you do. Put things in a smaller bowl so they look a little bit bigger. That's what I do, but I have 30 grams of this popcorn here, which is about 150 calories. If you make your own popcorn, obviously it's going to be very, very, um, light in terms of calories but the ketchup flavor on this is better than like any of the shaker ketchups too because i've had those and those are good but this is better comes in a huge bag for about 3.99 and i've had nacho i've had ketchup and i've had the plain and the caramel corn i don't really love the caramel corn it kind of tastes a little bit burnt but otherwise all of these are really good i find marshall's and winners have really really good options for chip substitutes so yeah gonna have this as a late afternoon evening snack before dinner in a couple hours so it is time for dinner but before I had dinner I had a tea about an hour ago I got this David's tea kind of superfood collection at an event a little while back sorry if you can hear the air fryer in the background there but we're just cooking um, and I've really loved everything that I've tried out of this with the exception of the one I had today so I loved lemon cayenne cleanse uh, deep blue spirulina was okay turmeric glow was the one I had today, which I didn't really like. It had carrots and ginger, so it just tasted like a warm ginger carrot, like juice, which I did not like that. Uh, strawberry moringa was really good. Gaba guava was good. Just beat it was another one of my favorites. So I've really liked kind of playing around and trying different teas. Uh, to try and curb my appetite and I've really liked having a variety of different ones to try so I'm not sure if this is like available for purchase all year round but really really liking it and I like the teas themselves with the exception like I said of the one I had today then for dinner tonight it's potato skins people I have been eating this non-stop we have been trying to do less takeout and make like our own kind of takeout on the weekends and that was how I discovered this recipe or kind of came up with it because when I actually calculated it I was like oh my god it's under 500 calories for a serving and you can kind of have however much or as little as you want and that's about where I try to stay in for dinner it's basically like a loaded baked potato and I use my beloved air fryer so I took a couple of potatoes and just microwaved them hollowed them out I'm gonna do a little bit of spray oil on them pop them in the air fryer did some uh, back bacon here. This is the Lou's back bacon, which I've spoken about before. It's quite high in protein, low in fat, and when you put it in the air fryer, I swear, it's almost just as good as regular bacon, because we bought regular bacon just to try it in the air fryer out of curiosity. We never really eat it. There's really not that much of a difference. So in five slices of this back bacon, there's 100 calories and 20 grams of protein. By the way, the potato insides I'll either use as mashed potatoes or I've been making into little potato pancakes and putting like a fried egg on top and it's been great. So it doesn't go to waste, but I just need the insides today. Then I'm going to put on some, um, so I, I kind of put them in the air fryer first to get them crispy. Then I'm just going to put on some light cheddar cheese and the bacon back on, put that in the air fryer again. And then when it's done, add on some green onion and instead of my sour cream, as always, I use fat-free Greek yogurt because it's super, super thick. Again, uh, low fat and high in protein. And I've basically removed sour cream from my diet. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I was using like the fat-free stuff, which is basically water. And I love like the restaurant super thick style. So this um, has really, really replaced it for me. It's plain, unsweetened, there's no sugar in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble all of this and I will show you it when it's done. I swear it is so freaking good. So here are the potatoes. I just put the skins in alone with a little bit of spray oil. I've mentioned this before, but it's my Kasori air fryer. I literally cannot get enough of it. I've had it for about two months and I've probably used the oven maybe three times and that's just because we were making like homemade pizza which required uh, an oven and more space so now I'm just going to in each of them 
put in my cheese and my bacon. I truly like like bar food, nachos, wings, potato skins, jalapeno poppers, any of that kind of food. That is my favorite. Well, I mean, I love all food because I love like Chinese. I love Indian. That's the whole problem. That's how I got here in the first place and needing to lose weight. But bar style food is some of my absolute favorites. And this just feels like truly like real bar food, but it's not deep fried. So it's really just potato cheese, a little bit of that bacon which isn't even really bacon bacon, like a super high calorie bacon, but it is so delicious, so satisfying. I've had this so many times for dinner. And I mean, if you're super, super healthy, you might be like potato skins for dinner, that's obscene, but I'm not super, super healthy. I'm just, I don't know, kind of balanced, I guess. But anyway, it is so good. I'm gonna put this back in. I put the potato skins in, like I said, they're fully cooked. So I just like to get them a little bit crispy. I put them in for about four minutes on 400 and now I'm going to put these back in for about another maybe three four minutes on 400 again I kind of overcooked the bacon because it's going to cook again here but and then put in the the green onions after the fact because you don't want those to get too wilted it's nice to have something like a little bit fresh on top so I'm gonna put these back in and then we are ready for dinner so here is the finished product you could totally do these in an oven too or even a microwave with the air fryer just gets them crispy in a very short period of time with little to no oil and as I mentioned this is just under 500 calories so it's definitely potato heavy but I ain't scared of a potato I I encourage a potato so uh, these could also be like a great weekend treat if you're looking for something a little bit different to mix up your meals um, or you could have them during the week like I do I kind of switch it up a little bit but ever since I kind of discovered the recipe I haven't been able to stop eating them so that is what I'm having for dinner tonight and I don't really have anything on the menu for a sweet treat afterwards so uh, we'll see if I decide to, to have anything but for now this is dinner. So I finished off the day with one of these popsicle cyclones. These were one of my favorite ice creams when I was a kid. These and the strawberry shortcake ice creams. I also took off my um, contact lenses so I can't really see anything. I forgot I was filming this video but these are about 80 calories each. They're really good. I feel like they're not as good as when I was a kid. I don't know if the recipe changed but they're like a little less lemony than they were I don't know what flavor they're supposed to be cherry lemon and blue raspberry I don't know I feel like they're just a little duller than they once were but still a really good sweet treat and again quite low calorie at 80 calories each so that is everything that I ate today thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye